Well, good day, everyone. Introducing for the second year running Australia's hottest craft beer by the Feral Brewing Company, the uh, Hop Hog IPA. Here we are. Isn't she a little beauty? Hop Hog IPA there. India Pale Ale. Made in the Swan Valley. Not sure if you guys can get that. Basically, it says, get a good whiff of this golden feral brewing company. Beast that explodes with citrus flavours, hop aromas, rounded out with a solid malt backbone. A farm load of American hops makes Hop Hog a uniquely feral brew and just a little fruity. It's 5.8. This is my first time at trying it. So... As I like to say, let's give it a crack. That's beautiful. Give it a smell, eh? Oh, that's delicious. Guys, I'm going to have to have a drink. Hold on a sec. Wow. That is probably one of my favourite American style IPAs. Um, there's a little bit of bitterness there but it doesn't last long it's really easy that's probably one of the most sessionable um, IPAs I've ever had the hops are, they just pop in your mouth um, and oh, I can taste almost like pine needles you know um, There's definitely citra in that. Um, there's um, there's that cascade, maybe amarillo. I'm not sure, but oh man! And look 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 at the color. If you guys can see that carbonation, it's just you know one of the things I like about IPAs is similar to why I like garlic, and that reason is that every time you you know you pass a little bit of a gas through your gullet and have a bit of a burp. It's like you get to enjoy it all over again. I love it. Um, man, I'm no beer connoisseur, but this is fantastic. So this is um, second year in a row. Australian craft beer has come a long way, and there are so many craft breweries out at the moment. That is really refreshing, fruity. There is there is definitely a solid malt backbone to that. It's absolutely delicious. Um, it's really strong on the hops, but at the same time, you don't lose the malt. Um, the malts the malt is obviously not as prevalent as the hops, which I guess is a classic IPA. Um, but that's just delish, guys. Well done, Feral. Um, and in case you're wondering, Cooper's came 26th in the craft brewery section in the top 100 with their pale ale, traditional pale ale, which is saying something really because they're a commercial brewery and yet they're still consistently coming in the craft beer category because they make craft beers, you know. Um, and with all the different breweries out there in Australia, like the craft breweries, the smaller breweries, um, for Coopers to still um, come in there with the locals voting them in, 
Um, I think that's fantastic. Anyway, well done, Feral. This is absolutely brilliant. If any of you guys can have a crack at this, have a crack at it. Um, it's a classic American pale ale, but it's it's um, it's slightly different. That's all I can say. But it's really refreshing, and it's probably more sessionable than some other IPAs that I've had. It's just a nice beer to have, guys. It's a beautiful beer. Well done, Feral. Well done, Australia. Craft beers. Cheers.